Next question is from Jassian G. What are some muscle building tips for teenagers? Oh boy, when it comes to muscle building, um, the best advice I can give to a teenager, and this of course is you know with appropriate form and technique, the best advice I could give you is just focus on getting stronger at the big five lifts, at your squat, your deadlift, your overhead press, your bench press, and your row. Just get strong at those lifts, and that alone will build more muscle on your body than any other training style or methodology or technique that I could possibly think of. Uh, I'll also, there's a, a lot of things running through my head right now as far as the things I'd go back and tell my teenage self. Uh, one of them would be uh, the over-application of intensity. Um, oh, yeah. as a young teenage boy, you know, full of testosterone, lots of energy, motivated to change my body. Uh, I apply, I went thinking that, okay, the more I do, the more results I'm going to get. And for a kid that was really active, I played sports. And in addition to that, I was training six, seven days a week. It's extremely difficult to feed the body enough calories and nutrients to even let the body recover and repair and grow like mm -hmm. you need it to. So that was like the first mistake. And what goes hand in hand with that is the second thing I would tell myself, which is track. Today we have these tools that didn't exist when I was a kid. When I was a kid, it was calorieking.com book or not dot com. It was calorie king book before dot com. I remember those. Yeah, the calorie king book. And then it was just a, a notepad and paper, and I would write out and then figure out where I was. And then I'd have to guesstimate based off of whatever I was reading, whatever book I was reading at the time of, oh, based off my age and how much mm -hmm. I was moving, I'm probably burning this much, which, God, I, I, can't, I can't imagine how inaccurate that was today. We have tools today that are like 90% accurate to what you're burning on a regular mm -hmm. basis. So that information was huge, and I didn't get that into my 20s. And when I got into my 20s, Body bug came out, and at that moment, I remember realizing, like, holy shit, I'm burning like 5,000 calories a day, which is a tremendous amount. But when you think about, I was 20 something years old, playing sports, personal training, eight hours a day. It's pretty typical for a kid. If you're 25, young man, training eight clients and a day. And you already have a fast metabolism. Yeah, right? and I mean, so the amount of food that I was, I needed to eat to make my body grow, the, I wasn't missing. It wasn't the gym. I didn't need to hit more weights to grow. It was I needed to either, one, move less so my body wasn't burning as much or significantly increase my calories. So I would definitely go back and tell myself that. And then the third big, like, you know, game changer or paradigm shattering moment for me as a trainer was learning that how important the big lifts were. Yeah. I was your typical teenage boy who, you know, if I did legs, it was leg press and leg extensions. Mm -hmm. um, I, you know, it, bench press. Sure, I did bench press every once in a while, like barbell stuff, but I always loved to do hammer strength and mm -hmm. cables. I loved every time I went to a gym, I, all the new machines, and I, I really neglected the big five. You know, I'd go back, and if I could go back and do it over again, I would tell teenage me, I'd say, listen, mm -hmm. I, all I want you to do are those five movements for the yeah. next five years. That's it. You're not allowed to do anything else. Just those five movements. Get great at them. Well, that was my entire answer, so thanks. Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. no, seriously, though, like, uh, keep it simple. That, that would have been my best advice to totally. myself because – uh, you're drawn towards a lot of the flashy stuff, especially when you're younger. Uh, you see, especially me being in like the athletic realm, uh, you always try to, again, emulate um, what your favorite athlete is doing and whatever workout they're promoting in their magazine. Uh, you know, very similar with bodybuilding, I'm sure, you know, same type of a, a thing where you're going to look at and idolize these, you know, these behemoths. Uh, but, uh, you know, for me, it would really have been to just stay there, stay in the big five, um, really master the technique. This isn't about overloading the technique. This is really gradually progressing your way up uh, after you've really ironed out and sharpened that technique to the point where you're a master of them, because uh, that's what that's what you're going to carry on for, you know, the rest of your life. That's, that's the foundation. That's, you know, the, the basis of what you build off of. And, and it builds the most muscle. I mean, from, from the, for me, the, between sophomore and junior year of high school, that's when I started to focus on those. There was a group of power lifters, older guys that gave me great advice and they were big, strong dudes. So of course I listened to them and they literally said, get really good at squats, get really good at deadlifts, get good at bench, overhead press and barbell row, practice them often. So like three days a week, yep. don't go to failure. That's what they told me. Have perfect yeah, form and just get strong and then feed yourself. And from in between those two years, sophomore to junior year, I gained over 15 pounds of muscle, literally grew out of my pants. I remember I had to buy new clothes and it was like the most growth I'd ever seen 
in my entire life. And it was 100% because of that. 